morning all boys and girls i hope you all good today so today we're going to be doing a life skills creative art activity is anybody excited for that activity yes so we're going to be making things making something fun then you can go home and show your mommies and your daddies and we're going to be singing songs and having some fun today okay so let's start with a song because of our theme is farm animals so let's sing oh mcdonald so can we all stand up stand up we're gonna be vibrant you're gonna move your body you're gonna follow teacher you're gonna sing loud okay let's start the song oh mcdonald had a farm he -I -E -I -O. And on the farm he had a cow, he -a -e -a -yo, with the moo moo there and the moo moo ya, yeah. moo there moo there everywhere moo moo. Oh, MacDonald had a farm, he -a -e -a -yo. And on the farm he had a dog, he -a -e -a -yo, with the woof woof there and the woof woof ya. Yeah. Woof there, woof there, everywhere, woof woof, oh MacDonald had a farm, he-i-e-i-o, and on the farm he had a pig, he-i-e-i-o, with the onk onk there, and the onk onk here, yeah. onk there, onk there, everywhere, onk onk, oh MacDonald had a farm, he-i-e-i-o, and on the farm he had a sheep, he-i-e-i-o, with the bear bear there and the bear bear there, bear yeah bear there everywhere bear bear. Oh MacDonald had a farm, he -a -e -a -o. Well done, boys and girls. That was awesome. So oh, let us all take our seats. Let us take our seats so that we can get into the work. So today our main topic what. The animal we'll be focusing on today is a sheep. So I'm sure we've all seen sheep. You know what a sheep looks like. The sheep is white. It got a lot of fur. So that's what we are going to be making today. So you're all gonna get a paper plate, right? Everyone will have a paper plate. Then on your paper plate, you are going to fold your paper plate in half. Can you see how I folded my paper plate in half? That is what everyone will do. You would fold your paper plate in half. Okay, guys? And then, once you finish fold your paper plate, right? It'll be like this. You're going to take your green color. Does everybody have green? Oopsie. You're going to take your green color. And at the bottom of the paper plate, you're going to color all around you. This will symbolize cross. So you're going to color neat. I don't want no scribbling. You need to color in neat, okay? Take this as a coloring competition. You know how you love coloring competitions? Take this as that. So you're going to color all here with green. Green for grass. Then once you're done color, you're going to get a template from this, right? So this is how the templates look. Can everybody see the templates? This is how the templates look. So when you get your template, you will take your scissors and you would cut out. This is the legs of the sheep and this is the head of the sheep. So you will cut neatly. We are taught you how to cut, so you must know how to cut. You would cut neatly out everything. And then once you're done cutting out your head, you would color it in black. What color are we coloring in? Black. So this is black, you use your black color, you color your head, your head should look like this. Can everybody see the head? A black head. And then you're going to also color in your legs black, and this is how your legs should look when they're done coloring. Can everybody see? The legs are all black, the head is black. So that's what you got to do. You're done, and once you're done coloring, in the head and the legs black you are going to come to teacher and teacher's going to give you some wool because we're going to use cotton wool i'm sure we all know it's cotton wool we're going to use cotton wool to make the body of the sheep so you come to teacher teacher will give you a bunch of cotton wool just like this here as you can all see the cotton wool i would give you a bunch you would go back you will put some prints we all have prints if you don't have prints come see teacher you will put some prints 
and you will stick your your body of your sheep first okay so can you all see once you're done you'll stick your body of the sheep so that's what you do you'll stick your body then once you're done sticking your body obviously you have to put legs for the sheep so right here at the bottom you will stick your legs for the sheep can you all see how teachers stuck my legs this is just an example so you can see here the legs for the sheep it's at the bottom. Can we all see the legs? Yes. So you're going to stick your first your body, then your legs. And then lastly, your black head will come by this part of the sheet. So this is how it would look. Let's see to just gather this. Okay. So this is how it would look, guys. Once you stuck the body, you stuck the legs, and you stuck the head. Then once you're done with all of this, lastly you're going to come to teacher so teacher will give you a button a pair two pairs two buttons i mean two buttons and that will be for the eyes so with your two buttons right you will stick your two eyes one eye there another eye there okay that completes your sheep you can add a tail for your sheep with your black color you can add flowers make it look very beautiful okay guys and then this is how your sheep should look at the end. This is the end result of your sheep. This is the sheep that Miss made. So can everybody see the sheep? As you can all see, there is it's colored in green, nice for the grass. There's some little flowers there, some little flowers here. You can see my sheep has eyes, it has a tail, and there's grass because sheep eat grass. So everybody can see what it's supposed to look like i will leave this here so if you get confused you can always come and look and see what you're supposed to do let's get started let's get cutting let's get sticking and let's dig into this activity well done boys and girls i'm super proud of each and every one of you you'll do the excellent job i love the sheep that you all made so now what you're gonna do you're gonna take your sheep just now you're gonna put in your bag and you're gonna go show mommy mommy see what i made today i made a little sheep okay so that's what we're gonna do so teacher just wants to give you a bit information about sheep right and you gotta remember you got to remember this because i can ask you questions okay so we gotta know a sheep is white it has fluffy as you can feel the cotton wool fluffy it has fluffy skin a sheep eats grass as i told you that's why we drew grass because that's what it eats you know for it to be fat and healthy and big it must eat grass so it can grow and also a sheep also gets pregnant they also have babies you know like how your mommy had your brother and had babies and had you a sheep too also has babies so when a sheep gives birth, the baby has a name. And the baby's name is called a lamb. What do we call a baby sheep? A lamb. Well done. So that's what we call a baby sheep. And also, there's a certain meat that we get from sheep, right? We all eat this meat. We make it in our briones. We make it in our curries. We can fry this meat. And we enjoy the meat that sheep give. And the meat is called mutton or you can get lamb okay so you know when you're having a braai and your mom said oh today we're gonna have some lamb for a braai you must know that meat came from a sheep so remember all these so when i ask you questions i can ask you what does a sheep eat answer me somebody exactly a sheep eats grass uh what color is a sheep let's see who remembers if they were listening to the teacher a sheep is white and what meat does a sheep give thank you yes it gives mutton and lamb yes you forgot to say lamb and what does a baby sheep call a lamb well done Clap for yourselves so now to tie up our lesson we're gonna sing a song so we can all get up we're gonna be active i told you today we can lots of more so we're gonna sing Baba black sheep okay guys let's all get up watch teacher do the move sing loud as you can okay
Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the tame. One for the little girl that lives down the lane. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, two bags full. One for the master, one for the tame. None for the little girl that lives down the lane. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, one bag full. One for the master, none for the tame. None for the little girl that lives down the lane. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes.